Balls and all with Ash and Lutzi broadcasting live from Auckland this morning. If you don't believe me, then you can have a look at the big New Zealand Warriors sign that we've got in the corner of the studio. Well, that's the more FM boys taking the dead set piss out of us there. Yeah, they're trying hey? to crack at us. They beat us in the belly flopping and now they're trying to rub it in because they think the New Zealand Warriors are going to beat the Broncos this afternoon. Of course, they're not. But one thing we've got over the oh. Kiwis, Lutzi, is we've got a smoking hot chick in the studio as we speak. Her name is Katina Fermel and she's from Flawless FX and she's been in just about every magazine you've ever heard I, I don't of. know where to start and finish. Good, very quickly, good morning, Katina. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you guys? We, we're great because oh. you're here. Look at you. Oh. Have a look Have at a you. Look at you. And thanks for coming to Auckland, by the way. Yes. You're we, welcome. Really, <laughs> we really appreciate you taking your time out to come in. It's now, brisk. Have a listen. It is brisk. It's like eight degrees out there. I've got nibbles like kneecaps at the moment. You've got nibbles like roofing nails, Ashley. And Katina, I don't even want to start. <laughs> with, 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 with how your nibbles are, though. But uh, the face of Vivacious Swimwear, the new face of Silk Oil of Morocco, your V8 Supercars official grid uh, girl team, the Miss V8 Supercars national finalist. Oh, blah. Blah, 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 Zoo blah, Weekly, blah. 50 Sexiest Models. I mean, it goes on and on. She was an Australian lingerie model search national finalist. No, I'm mean, busy. <laughs> do you make a career out of this, doing the swimsuit modelling and uh, all this type of yeah, stuff? Yeah, I try to. It's great. Yeah, I know. I, I see that you got the belly button pierced, but I couldn't help but notice that you got the tongue pierced as well. You're the first person who noticed it within like two minutes. Everyone else takes about three years. Can, can, I, can you just stick your tongue yeah. out real quick? Which hurt more, the belly? Because I've had a belly button pierced before. I lost a bet with... You did not. Uh, I did. I lost a bet with Kip and I had to get a belly button pierced, but never a tongue. I mean, that's got to be painful. I cried, but the belly button hurt more. It's tight skin, so I kind of swore at the pierce. Oh, really? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. How tall are you? Can I just say, you're sitting down here. Tongsy, can you? Tongsy, where's this end up, by the way? We've got to put this on... Uh, I don't want to reveal my height. It's not fair. This is on uh, nova1069.com.au. No, it's, it's good. No, yeah, no, okay. petite is in. Look at that. Have a look at that. Get on Nova1069.com.au. Absolutely superb. If you've just joined us, uh, this is our smoking hot chick for this week is uh, Katina Fimmel from uh, Flawless FX. And if you've just joined us, yes, this is a sports show. Uh, we'll try and work it, work it into it somehow or other in what? just a moment. But just the, I'll get back to the tongue piercing for just a second. What's the benefit of having your tongue pierced? I don't know. Honestly, I was just like, I'm bored. Let's go stab something. Is, is, there, a, <laughs> is there a practical usage for it? Uh, people say it's supposed to be good for you, know, uh, down there, but I, I heard otherwise. I don't think it changes anything. Apparently. I don't think I've ever, I think <laughs> ever had opportunity. No. We don't know. We don't know. Well, oh, Katina, God. do you follow the rugby league? Are you, are you a rugby league supporter? Do, yes, of course. She was a Melbourne girl originally, but yeah. now it's all about rugby league up here in Queensland, of course, so Katina. We've got three games today, Mitchie. Yeah, Broncos are first up. Uh, Warriors. Here in Auckland. Here at home in Auckland, yes. Of course. Yeah, Katina will be there with us tonight at the game. Uh, who are you going? Are you going uh, Broncos, or do you want the, uh, the Warriors from New Zealand? Always going Broncos. Boom. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl, <laughs> Katina. What else is on tonight, Mitch? Titans v Tigers. Gold Coast boys or the uh, Western Gibberers? I'm going to go uh, Tigers there. I just can't. Gold Coast, I've got no contact. Yeah, I've got to back the Tigers as well, but it'll get down to Katina. What do you reckon? I also believe that the Tigers are going to kill the Gold Coast. I'm sorry, guys. No, that's it. <laughs> no they're playing like bustards at the moment. We're in course. Auckland. What a week. <laughs> yeah, they're without Scott Prince as well, the Titans. Does, does well, that wrap it up, Last Mitch? up, Penrith are hosting Melbourne. The force. Oh, Melbourne. well, you, Katina, surely you're going for the Melbourne Storm. I mean, they're no, unbeaten. Home ground. They're amazing. I love that team. They're really, really good. They're, they're good pretty Melbourne. hot, too, aren't they? Who would you go? Who would you be number one pick if you, you know, if you had, if you could? One of them. I don't know. Cameron Smith, Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk. I can't Cooper pick. Cronk. I can't pick. Too many to Cooper choose. Cooper Cronk, I'd go. Yep. I had an opportunity once, but I said, no, Cooper. No, you've got a game you're tomorrow. you yep. and you've got to play in two hours. <laughs> yeah. It was game day, and Cooper Cronk came at me and said, I want a piece of you. And you knocked him back. <laughs> knocked him back on game day, Katina. On game day. I know, right? On game day. Oh, that's what I said. That's, that's what he said. On game day. Um, OK, so they're the three games. Um, that pretty much wraps up, balls and all. Yeah, that just about does it. Uh, thank you, Katina, for coming in. Katina, for Mel, for Flawless FX. Oh, thanks for having me. Hop, <laughs> up, and give, oh, hop up and give oh, Lutzi a hug. Uh, no, uh, Nova1069.com.au <laughs> if you're... Uh, Oi! The cord's stuck. Hang on. Well, Lutzi's purposely wrapped his headphones around Katina, okay. so they're completely tangled Very up at the true. moment. But you look beautiful, Katina. Thanks for coming in very much. And uh, I think we're going to have somebody else from Flawless FX coming in next week. Yes, thank you uh, on behalf of the entire team from Balls and All to uh, Mitchell Lewis, of course, Maddie back in the studio, and Terra Firma, Australia, Ryan Seacrest, and Harry Danger.